Welcome to Virtual Storytime. My name is Miss B. I'm going to be your storyteller today. And with today's story time, I am going to start out with a cut and tell poem. So what that means is I am going to cut a piece of paper while reciting a poem. And you listen and you watch what happens. Here we go. I start out green, very fragile and small. I grow through spring and summer on something very tall. But there are changes when the nights turn cool that happen to me when the kids return to school. I am a leaf on a growing tree. Watch me change colors. One, two, three. Right now we are in the middle of the fall season. It's no longer summer where we got to wear shorts and it was hot and sunny and we were in the pool or in the sprinklers. Now in the middle of fall, the weather has definitely cooled down. We're wearing jackets and sweaters. It's probably raining. The days are shorter and outside we're seeing all kinds of changes. The leaves on the trees are changing colors. Just today, I was walking with my dog and I found some really interesting leaves. This used to be green, but now it's a little bit brown. This one is yellow, and this one is brown and yellow. And then here's one with a bit of dark red in it, and there's a hole in the middle. And then I found these two big ones. Look how pretty these are. You can still see there's a little bit of green on them but you can also see where they were starting to change into yellow. So fall is a great time to find all these pretty leaves and different colors. So what we are going to do next is pretend that we are trees with our autumn leaves changing and falling to the ground. And our rhyme is called autumn leaves are falling, falling, falling. So what you can do is everyone stand up stretch your branches up high, your arms are your branches, and you can use your hands as the leaves, but because I brought leaves today, I am going to put them on my branches so that I can look a little bit like a tree and just follow along. It goes like this. Autumn leaves are falling, falling, falling. Autumn leaves are spinning, spinning, spinning. Autumn leaves are floating, floating, floating. Autumn leaves are turning, turning, turning. Autumn leaves are dancing, dancing, dancing. Autumn leaves are blowing, whoosh, blowing, whoosh blowing whoosh. autumn leaves are falling 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 autumn leaves are sleeping 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 that was very good shall we do that again i'm going to add a couple of more leaves okay stretch your branches high trees and here we go autumn leaves are falling falling, falling. Autumn leaves are spinning, spinning, spinning. Autumn leaves are floating, floating, floating. Autumn leaves are turning, turning, turning. Autumn leaves are dancing, dancing, dancing. Autumn leaves are blowing, whoosh, Blowing, whoosh, blowing, whoosh. autumn leaves are falling, 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 autumn leaves are sleeping.
sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Good night, autumn leaves. And of course, the best thing about autumn, one of the greatest things you can do is throw leaves up in the air. Ooh, yay for fall. This is the time of year when you'll see a lot of homes and businesses decorating with pumpkins or skeletons as folks get ready for Halloween or Day of the Dead. I've got my little skeleton buddy right here. This is Boney. Hello, Boney. Hello. We all have a skeleton that looks like this inside our bodies. If you knock on your head and it feels hard, you know what that is? That's the skull. That's the skull, the part of your skeleton. You touch your elbow, squeeze your elbow, you feel that hard bone. That's part of your skeleton too. Skeletons help protect the organs inside our body and they help us stand and sit and run and all sorts of important things like that. So with my buddy Boney, we are going to learn the names of a couple of the bones in our skeleton. And the first one I'm going to show you is the cranium. The cranium here is the skull, helps protect your brain, a very important part of your body. So this is the cranium. Can you say cranium? Cranium. And then the next part I want to show you is your finger bones are also called phalanges. Now you try saying phalanges. Very good. Phalanges are your finger bones and also your toe bones are known as phalanges. So phalanges on your feet, phalanges on your hands. This part of the skeleton is called the pelvic bone. Can you say pelvic bone? If you put your hands on your hips and you feel that hard part, that's the pelvic bone. And it protects the organs that are down there in your part of your body. So that's the pelvic bone. And then the next bone right here on this part of the leg is called the tibia. Now you say tibia. Very good. If you touch your leg down there, your shin, that is your tibia. You can feel that right there on your leg. So now that we know some of the names of the bones in a skeleton, we are going to do the bony hokey pokey. Some of you may have danced the hokey pokey before. This is the bony hokey pokey. So the first thing we're going to put in is our cranium. So you put your cranium in, you put your cranium out. All right, are you ready to do the bony hokey pokey? Here we go. You put your cranium in, you put your cranium out, you put your cranium in and you shake it all about. You do the bony hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. All right, let's look at the phalanges. The phalanges, remember your finger bones and also your toe bones. We're gonna do the finger phalanges. So put in your left phalanges. Ready? Here we go. You put your left phalanges in, you put your left phalanges out, you put your left phalanges in and you shake it all about. You do the bony hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. All right, and then we'll do the right phalanges, your other phalanges. Here we go. You put your right phalanges in, you put your right phalanges out, you put your right phalanges in and you shake it all about. You do the bony hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. All right, down the body to the pelvic bone. Put your pelvic bone in, put your pelvic bone out. Here we go. You put your pelvic bone in, you put your pelvic bone out. You put your pelvic bone in and you shake it all about. You do the bony hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. And do you remember the one on the leg, what that's called? The tibia. Let's start by putting in our left tibia. Here we go. You put your left tibia in, you put your left tibia out, you put your left tibia in, and you shake it all about. You do the bony hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. And finally, let's do the right tibia, your other one. Here we go. You put your right tibia in, you put your right tibia out, 
Put your right tibia in and you shake it all about. You do the bony hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. And next part, the big finale is to put your whole skeleton in and your whole skeleton out. You ready? Here we go. You put your whole skeleton in, you put your whole skeleton out, you put your whole skeleton in and you shake it all about. You do the bony hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Yeah! That's the bony hokey pokey. And that came from the book, Bones Inside Out, a rhythm, rhyme, and reason bonanza by Byron Glazer and Sandra Higashi. Bones are bones. And now I am going to do a cut and tell story. We started the story time with a cut and tell poem. This one, I'm going to cut a piece of paper while telling a story. Watch closely and listen. And the name of this story is Two brothers go on a hike and get a spooky surprise. Here we go. On a crisp fall morning, big brother and little brother decided to spend the day hiking in the hills beyond their neighborhood. They filled their backpacks with bottled water, sandwiches for lunch, a flashlight, a first aid kit, and then they told their parents where they were going and when they would be back and they set off for the hills. Just like the brothers, there's a big hill and a little hill. First, the brothers hiked up the little hill. And when they got to the top of the little hill, they stopped to rest and eat their lunch. And after lunch, they started up the trail along the big hill. Well, we better not waste any time, said Big Brother. This hike is taking a little longer than we thought. So the two brothers hurried to the top of the big hill. Top of the big hill. By the time they got to the top, the sun was starting to set. There's the sun starting to set. And the little brother said, we made it to the top of the big hill. Yeah, but it's a good thing we brought our flashlights. It might get dark before we finish our hike, said big brother. So the boys began to hike down the other side of the big hill. But because it was dark, are getting dark, and the boys were in a hurry to get home before it got really dark. What they did not notice was the hole that used to be the old well. They stumbled into the well. No, they cried as they fell in. Oof, said Big Brother as Little Brother fell on top of him. Big Brother reached for the flashlight, and he turned it on, and he shone it out around the inside of the well. And Little Brother said, well, this isn't too bad. We can climb out of here. And Big Brother said, yeah, you're right. It's not that deep a well. It's pretty shallow. But as he shone his flashlight around, he asked, what is that over there? It was an opening in the wall of the well. Let's go see, said little brother. So the two brothers peeked into the opening of the well, and then they screamed. They ran out of the opening, out of the well. They climbed down the hill. They ran all the way home. What do you think scared the boys so? It was a skull. Boo! Or as we learned earlier, a cranium. Some of you may be visiting a pumpkin patch this fall. 
go on a hayride and pick out a few pumpkins to purchase and perhaps carve them at home or make them into pumpkin pies, pumpkin bread, yummy stuff like that. Well, I have a rhyme called Five Little Pumpkins. Some of you may have heard this before, so say it along with me if you know it. But first, let us count our five pumpkins. Can you count with me? This is one, two, three, four, and five. And this is the rhyme. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are bats in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, isn't Halloween fun? Then ooh, went the wind and out went the light. And the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. All right. Usually when I do this rhyme, I do a clap of my hands when I say, out went the lights, but because I'm holding this and doing the pumpkins at the same time, it's a little hard to clap. So I'm gonna do it again, and you guys can go woo went the wind, and you can clap when I say out went the lights. All right, let's do it one more time. Five little pumpkins sitting on the gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are bats in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, uh-oh. Pumpkin fell off the gate. The fifth one said, isn't Halloween fun? All right, here comes the wind. Ooh, went the wind. And are you ready to clap? Out went the light. And the five little pumpkins roll out of sight. Very good. Thank you for doing the woo and the clap. Thank you for joining me for virtual story time. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you'll enjoy the fall season with all the pumpkins and skeletons and trying on your costumes and going trick-or-treating and playing in the leaves. So fall is a great time for all kinds of activities. So I hope you have a lot of fun. So let us close by waving high and everybody wave low. I think it's time for us to go. Wave your hair and wave your nose. Wave your thumbs and wave your elbows. Wave your arms, wave your eyes wave your hands and say bye-bye uh oh and there goes my pumpkin bye-bye <laughs> everyone we'll see you next time thanks <laughs>